Hi, my name is Jordan Burrs and I'm going to be your host for the entire FIFA World Cup 2022. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my no-house advantage picks for the South Korea versus Portugal game. Ghana versus Uruguay, Brazil versus Cameroon, and Serbia versus Switzerland. Before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the Odd Shoppers channel because we post daily predictions, daily previews, and daily No House Advantage videos on this channel. Speaking about No House Advantage, I do need to tell you a little bit about them. Now, they have two types of contests over there. One, which allows you to pick overs and unders and enter them into a GPP-style tournament. The other, which we'll be talking about today, are props over and under picks, which allow you to multiply your winnings up to 20x. All you have to use, do is use code STOCHASTIC to get your first deposit bonus of up to $50. That's code STOCHASTIC to get your first deposit bonus of up to $50. It'll also be linked in the description and pinned to the first comment. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the No House Advantage uh, app over here. Let me quickly show you how it works. So as you can see, if we pick a couple of players over here, over, under, over, depending on their shots, you can see that the multiplier goes all the way up here to 11x. Now you can see that I have four players selected here. And if we put $100 in, you can see that our payout is $1,100. Obviously, the more players you pick, the higher your odds are going to be, the more difficult it is going to be to hit, but you will get paid out more and vice versa. Now, let me just clear all of this so that we can jump into my No House Advantage picks for today. So the first game that we're going to be looking at is Portugal versus South Korea. Now, Portugal only need a win or a draw here. South Korea need a win and they need uh, some stuff to happen in the Ghana versus is Uruguay game. Portugal have been in very, very good form. They beat Ghana 3-2. To be fair to Ghana, Ghana did keep up with them in that game. They made it very, very difficult for Portugal to win that game, and they almost drew it right at the end. Now, South Korea opened up with a 0-0 draw against Uruguay, and then Ghana beat them 3-2. Now, South Korea, it took them 135 minutes to register a shot on target in the World Cup. So the attack hasn't really been functioning up, up to par at the moment. Portugal, they've scored some goals, two against Uruguay, three against Ghana. Portugal are definitely looking like the team to beat in this group. Now, I was worried about a little bit of rotation from Portugal, but I still think this is an important game for them and they need to win it. Obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo will probably start. All the predicted lineups are predicting him to start. But again, just make sure you check the lineups an hour before kickoff, before placing your bets, just to make sure if a player is starting or not, because that can influence what we pick here if we go over or under. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo at um, over or under one and a half shots on goal. Now, I do have some stats for you here. Cristiano Ronaldo has played on average 85 minutes in both of the games. He's averaged three and a half shots per game, and he's also averaged one shot on target per game. Now, you do need to rem remember that one of his goals that he scored with, uh, with his head, apparently he claimed it. Um, that didn't count, so that would have added another goal, another shot on target. Remember that Cristiano Ronaldo also takes penalties, so getting over one and a half shots on goal, I don't think is going to be too difficult, and I do think they're going to beat the South Korean team quite comfortably. So going over one and a half shots on goal for Cristiano Cristiano Ronaldo seems quite sensible to me. Now, I was also looking at Son over here at over 0.5 shots on goal, but in the first two games, he hasn't got a single shot on goal. Um, so, if it was at one and a half, we probably would have gone under, but that 0.5 shots on goal is a little bit technical because Son will probably also be on penalties for South Korea. So we're going to stay away from him. The next game we're going to look at is the Uruguay versus Ghana game. Now, we've only got three players here, four players here, sorry. We've got Ayu, Valverde, Williams, and Suarez. Now, the only one that really catches my eyes is Inaki Williams at 0.5 shots on goal. Yes, Valverde, you could probably go for over 0.5 shots on goal, but I do think we have a better chance with Inaki Williams just because of where he plays on the field. Um, obviously, Andrew Ayu and Jordan Ayu have been doing great jobs in getting the ball in, uh, into the box and creating opportunities. Mohamed Kudas just can't stop scoring for this Ghana team. Um, I would, I wish Kudas was on here because I think he's going to be very, very integral in this game as well. Now we know about all the history between Uruguay and Ghana back in 2010. Ghana were trying to become the first African team to make it into a semi-final of a World Cup. Suarez puts his hand up in the 90th minute, 
blocks a goal from going in that would have uh, allowed Ghana to go through and knock Uruguay out. Ghana then got a penalty and Asamoah Gayan misses the penalty and then Uruguay eventually go through on penalties. So this is definitely going to be one of the best games to watch in the World Cup. So much history. Ghana will be out for revenge. Uruguay haven't scored a goal yet. So I do think Ghana could definitely cause an upset here even though Ghana are in better form. I do think it's going to be quite high scoring. We've seen in both Ghana's games a 3-2 loss to Portugal and then a 3-2 win against South Korea. There will be goals. And I think Inaki Williams, even though he's only averaged one shot per game, I do think he gets a goal or at least gets a shot on goal here. I also think he's on penalties. And this is going to be a feisty game. I wouldn't be surprised if there is a penalty. So we're going to go over 0.5 shots on goal for Inaki Williams. Then the next player we're going to be looking at is in the Brazil versus Cameroon game. Now, to be honest, they haven't really given us many options yet. Anthony is the one that sticks out to me. Sorry about that. Anthony is the one that sticks out to me. Um, and I do think this Brazilian team will rotate some players. Now, Again, this is where it becomes important to check the lineups because Anthony hasn't started any of the games. He averages 14 minutes per game, but I do think they might rotate him and start him. If he starts, I do think we, we, he's going to go over two and a half shots quite comfortably. He's uh, averaged one shot per game at the moment, and he's only played 14 minutes on average per game. Now, if he doesn't start... Again, check the lineups. Then we definitely need to hit the under on Anthony. So this is the one of those where you just need to make sure you check the lineups an hour before kickoff, and then you can bet on it. But for me, I do think he's going to start. He's going to be in that rotation. So we're going to go over two and a half shots. And then the last game we're going to look at is Serbia versus Switzerland. Now, this is basically a knockout match. Whoever wins this goes through. Unless Cameroon uh, beat Brazil, then there's a whole bunch of um, other factors that uh, are at play, but I don't think Cameroon is going to beat Brazil. So the Serbia versus Switzerland game is all to play for. Whoever wins this one goes through. Now, I would have liked Mitrovic to be on here. He's obviously the strike man, the talisman for the Serbian team. I do think Serbia are just going to edge this game. Now, I know Switzerland are favorites, but Serbia have been in great form before the World Cup. They just haven't got the results yet drawing 3-3 to Cameroon, letting a two-goal lead go, and then obviously losing 2-0 to Brazil. Now, Dusan Vlahovic. This is another player. Check the lineups before the game, because if he doesn't start, then we have to batter that under two and a half goals. He averages 24 minutes per game, and he's got zero shots on target. Zero shots. He just has zero shots in his two 20, 24 minute stints uh, for Serbia. So I, if, if he starts, I wouldn't go for the over here. He is a good he is a good player, but I just don't think he has three shots or more in him. And if he does do that, I think it it will be uh, quite a lot of luck, to be honest with you. So for me, leave Vla, uh, Vlahovic out unless he he starts on the bench. If he starts on the bench, then definitely hand, uh, hammer this under. Again, check the lineups because it is going to help you in picking some of these. So as you can see, we've gone all the way up to 11x because we've selected four players. I think these are all pretty good. Again, check if Anthony is starting and check if Vlaholvic is starting. But if we put $100 in here, our payout is $1,100. Let's just recap this really quick for you. Cristiano Ronaldo, over one and a half shots on goal. Then we've got Inaki Williams, over 0.5 shots on goal. We've got Anthony, make sure to check the lineups, over two and a half shots. And especially for Dusan Vlahovic, check the lineups, but under two and a half goals. And that about wraps it up, guys. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to the Odd Shoppers channel because we post daily predictions, previews, and No House Advantage videos on this channel. Also, make sure you go use code STOCHASTIC to get your first deposit bonus of up to $50. That's code STOCHASTIC to get your first deposit bonus of up to $50. My name is Jordan Burrs, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.